Sure, you always have a bottle of this stuff when you're getting ready to fit your decoy up. I'll show you why. The big old buck will have to come by and investigate this. What I do is I take Scent Thief. It's, a, it's an awesome product. It's different from any other scent control device there is out there. Any, anything on the market. What it does is it actually blocks the upper field gland, glands in the nose and prevents the animal from being able to smell. And uh, once they breathe it in, and then they smell synth if it, it blocks those receptors in their nose and they can't smell anything else so works pretty good uh, i spray mine from the head to the toe every time it takes away all remnants of some human odor now yeah you want your decoy to smell like a doe but just the visual aid of it works too it's a bit, hell of a lot better for them to not smell anything than it is for them to smell you on something that looks like a deer. It won't work too good. And the one part I don't spray is that tail. That tail is where I will put my uh, doe and rut scent on there. And that's the only thing. Now if the wind's right, if the catch is right, they might be able to smell it, might not. Probably waste my time and money putting it on there, but I just, that's what I do. You can do whatever you want. They probably don't smell it, but I know one thing. They won't smell my odor on that decoy. Let's see what it does for us. This is a procedure I follow every time I set this decoy.